Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, Cape Town experienced a massive fire last night. But fortunately, thanks to our amazing fire department, this natural disaster was contained, no property was damaged and nobody died. However, I was driving around when it was happening, the flames were very scary and yeah, this kind of prompted me to do this video. Because fire is one of those things that goes hand in hand with humanity's history and has played quite a big role in shaping actuarial science and risk management. I mean, if we go all the way to the beginning, um, you know, reading through some mythology, you see that uh, specifically here in Africa, we've got creation stories where the, the God created a new world um, above ground and humans and the animals, they all came to enjoy this, this new world. But the God said there's one rule and that one rule was do not create fire. But the humans, they were cold at night and they were like, you know what, we can see fire can be used for technological advancements. So they created fire, God was very angry with them and because of the fire, it scared away the animals and according to the story, um, God mixed up the speech so that humans could no longer communicate with animals and mankind and nature kind of became separated from that instance forward. If we look at Greek mythology, we see the Titan Prometheus uh, taking fire and giving it to the humans uh, kind of giving them a little bit of the ability to fight back against Zeus and with fire they led to all these great technological adva advancements. So the mythology shows that fire is both creative and destructive. It pushes humanity forward but it can also come with some massive consequences. And I mean one of the biggest fire events that's happened was in um, the year 1666 in London, we had the Great Fire, which destroyed thousands and thousands of homes. And what it kind of did is it caused people to say, hold on, hold on, what do we do if a fire occurs? Now, I know the ancient Egyptians kind of had a fire brigade, and the Romans also had a service where a, a building would you know, come on fire, and the Caesar would send his like, firefighters, but only once they agreed on a price, then they would, um, you know, put out the fire. I mean, you can imagine the negotiation there. It's like, how much are you going to pay me to put out the fire? And you're like, I want a million rand. And the person's like, no, but the fire starts burning more of the house. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, okay, just take the money, put the fire out. So it, it was very, very primitive back in the Roman and Egyptian times. But what we see happening is after the Great Fire of London, uh, we see fire insurance starting to, to be born. Uh, companies start saying, we'll create contracts, pay us a little bit every month, and if a fire occurs, we will rebuild your house. Um, of course, one thing that these companies found out is that they said, hold on, instead of us just repaying to build up a house, because that's quite an expensive thing, why don't we set up a fire brigade? So as soon as a house goes on fire and they're one of our insured uh, customers, we can go there and we can put the fire out. Then everyone's happy because A, we don't have to spend a lot of money rebuilding the house and the client's happy because their personal belongings were not destroyed in the fire and some things like that you know, can't be replaced. Um, the problem though, what started happening was uh, these insurance companies got into a little bit of moral dilemmas. What if you're on your way to put out a fire and uh, the house next to your client starts going up in flames, but they don't pay you policy premiums and all that type of stuff. Do you use your resources to put out the fire? And by doing so, it kind of discourages everyone from buying uh, fire insurance because they will see it as a free good. Or do you just let the, let the place burn? And of course, this caused quite a bit of problems and uh, Finally, in England, you know, they started to nationalize the, the fire brigade. Um, America, they had a, a slightly better system. What they did is the insurance uh, company and the fire brigades were separate. And what happened then was you had all these private fire brigades, and the first one on the scene would be paid um, or rewarded for putting up the fire. So it was just a little bit more of a competition towards it. So what, what was interesting, though, with the whole fire insurance is that people were seeing that when it comes to risk mitigation, you can actually put in things in place to try and prevent the damage caused by that risk. So, for instance, the big breakthrough here was not just, oh, we're going to insure uh, your house in case it burns. We're actually going to put in a crisis uh, plan of action if a fire does start. The next big development that fire did with actuarial science is a kind of created the pressure for reinsurance because what happens is when your house goes on fire um, it tends to burn and if winds blowing it can put the, the houses around it in danger 
And sometimes an insurance company, you know, focuses its marketing in, in let's say, a town or in a neighborhood, and it's insured all the houses on the street. A fire comes out, and if it burns, like, say, 10 houses, an insurance company might not have the resources to repay all 10 houses. So where insurance companies started getting clever was they started trading risk. So a town on the one side of the country would make a deal with a town on the other side of the country, and they'd say, you know, we've got 10 houses in town A, um, we'll trade five for five of your places in town B. And then they'd go to town C, and again, they would keep shuffling, shuffling, shuffling their, their risk, so that if a great fire did occur, all of the insurance companies took a little bit of a hit instead of one of them taking all the, the pain and getting wiped out. So it's, it's interesting seeing how fire kind of you know, prompted the, the creation of insurance, uh, prompted you know, the creation or thinking of clever solutions to try and limit it, like fire brigades and stuff like that. But it also put a lot of pressure and led to, to reinsurance becoming as big as it is now, where people are you know, transferring risk and reducing the cost of doing so um, by, by using reinsurance. So yeah, so these were just some thoughts that were going through my, through my mind um, this morning as I was just yeah, thinking about the fire that happened last night. But once again, just want to say thank you so much to the fire department for, for their brave efforts in limiting the, the disaster that could have been. But yeah, um, I'll let you guys uh, know what else is up and um, I'll see you soon for, for more videos. Keep well. Cheers.